you know. So, um, you know, all this to say, it it's was a great fun movie. Well, now that we've heard the most difficult things about the movie, each of you, can you really tell? Quickly, tell me, like, what was the most either rewarding or most fun thing about the whole experience? I mean, just for me, yeah. watching those P-51s come in and land, and looking at the, the Tuskegee Airmen that was there, and you see them lose sixty-something years, and you see this childlike exuberance overtake their eyes, and they remember getting in those planes and flying them. And you can see that they want to hop in that plane again, because now they've been grounded a bit as a result of being 90 years old. But watching their excitement, and now imagining there's a hundred of those planes on that field, and they talk about their rolling, and man, that just got it for me. That was the most exciting moment for me over everything. I think that, you know, for me one of the most exciting things is that this is a very rarefied um, situation whereby a, a cast of this size in terms of black actors get to work together and, and I think what, what that tends to engender normally is that because you're, you tend to be the only, you're the black guy in the whatever or the best friend or the what, do you know what I mean? It, it, it creates a situation, it creates an unnecessary paranoia. Um, and I, as a, as a British actor, you know, coming to work in the States, have, have one of the things I've noticed, which, you know, this film helped me oxidize, is the fact that there is this slight, there can only be one. Who's going to be the next Denzel? Who's going to be the next whatever? Which is so antiquated and unhelpful. And, um, and I think that us all getting to work together was such an empowering thing to uh, uh, support each other, to learn from each other, um, to encourage each other as we go forward. And, and you know, some of my best friends, I mean, he, he's become one of my best friends in the world now. And, and so many of our conversations are not about our individual careers or our individual, but how can we help each other? How can we facilitate and move forward and, and change the conversation so that it's not, you know, about who's going to be the next whatever, but how can we build on the opportunity we've been given? And that is something I will take to my grave, especially if we can, you know, sustain what we have gained from doing Red Tails, which is a kind of camaraderie and a... Uh, a, a, a dissolution, a, a, a dissolving of that of that thing that the, the, our, our, our industry projects on us as well, which is the oh, are you going to be there? Are you, oh, you're this, that, and the other. It's a load of BS. It's about doing good work. And when we were on there, you know, for us as well, Nate and I were sort of, you know, in terms of the the, the younger pilots, we were sort of, the, you know, the, the older guys as it were when it came to the pilots, and and we were able to to go look, guys. This is not play. We have been given this incredible opportunity and we are going to knock this out of the park. It is not an option. And I think when you're younger, when you're either just creeping out of your teens or your early twenties, you know, oh, let's just have a have a fun time. And it was great to be able to be there to help with that and to watch those younger actors in terms of the pilots, you know, building on the experience as well. That was has been huge for me.